Hi, everyone. Mr. Stearns here. Boy, I really don't like the way this is set up. Hold on. All right. Let's take a look. See here. All right. So today we're going to get all of our stuff together to turn in. Okay. This is kind of like our celebration day. It's where we take all of the proof and our evidence and we put it into a slideshow. Let me show you what I mean. All right, so what hour do I have? You go to your hour. I'll just use two second hours since it's right here. Okay, notice in Schoology you have this information, especially if you're at home. All of this is critical. If you're sick, this is going to give you the information you need, right? Here's my Zoom link. I don't need to email anybody the Zoom link. It's right there. Just go to the Zoom link if you're quarantined or you have COVID, and I will let you in. Okay, that's what that link is for. All right, there's my email. I generally will have some information if I have people on quarantine, and then we'll always have a week at a glance here. Okay, so what are we doing today? Today is Wednesday. Notice this link right here. That's where your slide is, okay? So if you click on that, this is your slide that you need, but what, what you have to do right away, don't start writing on it, you're gonna wreck the template. So immediately go to file and you wanna make a copy of it, the entire presentation, and you wanna call it your first name, your last name, our evidence folder one. That's it, does that make sense? Okay, you make a copy of it. Now, when it comes back up, it's your copy. Do you see up here? It should have your first and last name. Okay, that's how you know that it's yours and not the template. Okay, so let's say you have your own template now. This is like your briefcase when you go into court, you're a lawyer, and this is what you show to prove your case, okay? So let's take a look at the very first thing that you have to do. It's really looking at, I'm trying to get you to really take a look at multiple choice questions are indicators. It doesn't show what you learned. It shows what you might have learned. And the reason teachers use grades on tests is because it's more efficient to communicate to your parents what we think you might have learned. But it's not the most perfect way to explain your learning. So let me show you a different way. And it's a little bit strange and it's a little bit complicated. If you just go through the steps, you'll be fine in the end. Are you a little bit confused right now? Yeah, that seems natural, okay? But do you see the advantage of looking at your grades this way instead of just getting your test grade back, which means nothing? Does that make sense? Let's figure out what grades really are about. And let's start with your multiple choice test. We said that multiple choice tests are just indicators. It doesn't represent your totality of your learning. It just is a quick way to give you a, your parents a snapshot or your counselor a snapshot of where you might be, what you might have learned. But it's not complete. But we need to start there. So how do you find that out? Very simple. Go to your multiple choice. You know that test that we just took? There were several questions on there that were like teacher questions, like yes and no, did you do this, did you do that? Now, that shouldn't count against you. So let's only look at the 15 or 16 different questions that we had that were directly related to our learning, okay? So not the ones that said, did you do this, did you do a draft? Let's forget those. For most of you, unless you took the test, um, because you were sick, a makeup test, you had 15 possible points. Okay, there were 15 possible points on most tests, 16 if you took it yesterday, which was Tuesday because you were absent. Okay, so you always take the possible points. That's really important. You need to know that. That's critical. That's the denominator. Your score that you earned on those 15, how many out of 15 did you get right? That's your score. So you take your score and you divide it by possible points, okay? okay? And then you push equal and that equals a number. It should be a decimal. It should look weird. 
Now to change that decimal to a percent, you need to multiply it by, does anybody know what percents is? Deals with hundreds, right? So you have to multiply that number by 100 to get your percent. That is your final percent on your multiple choice test. Does that make sense? Let me put a percent sign here. Okay, so if you earned, for example, let's say 12, and there were 15 possible points, you would push 12 into the computer. Watch what I do to get a, um, I'm gonna go get a calculator right here. See the calculator? Okay, so now I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna use this calculator. Let's say I got 12. I got 12. I need to take 12 and put that into the calculator and I need to divide 12 by possible points. How many points were there? 15. Okay, so what does that equal now? Let's go back to the calculator. What is 12 divided by 15? That's 0.8. Now to get a percent, you need to multiply it by 100 because percentages deal with hundreds. So your score on the multiple choice part of the test is 80%, which in my class is a B minus. And if you wanted to know what that actually equaled, just go outside of our door, go to the right, look at Gucci's uh, door. She has a grading scale up, ours is exactly the same. So 80% in my class is a B minus, okay? So now you know your percent. Take your percent and go back to your chart. Where is it? There it is. And you would put, 80%. So you earned 80%, which equals a B minus in my class. Okay. Does that make sense? Now that's, that's what you need to start out this with. Okay. That's critical. Let's make sure we have that right where we need it. Okay. So you need to know your score. That's the first thing. Does that make sense? So final question, now you have to answer this on the next slide. In your opinion, does this B minus reflect your totality of your learning? In other words, should we put the B minus as your power school grade or is there more we need to consider before we figure out our grade? Most teachers would just look at this and I'm trying to get you to think about it in a different way. Okay, I think that that B minus indicates, and the only reason we would put that on power school by itself is because it's more efficient and it's easy to explain to parents. But I don't think it's the best way to find out your real score. I think it's one piece of information or evidence. So what else should we look at to find your final score for this evidence folder so far? Well, let's look down below, okay? First, you wanna write me a quick note. What else should I look at? Shouldn't I look at your ISN? Shouldn't I read your essay? Does that make sense? Do you have any challenge points? So write, I mean, any challenge projects and coupons? So write me a quick note. Is there anything I need to know about? Was something going on in your family that really does impact the grading? This is where you would explain that. Okay, because I think that that should be considered by teachers. Okay, now let's go in and start inserting stuff in here. Okay, I need a picture of your essay or the file of your essay. The file is nice. It's really helpful for me, but at least a clear picture. Make sure your pictures are high quality. Okay, what else do we need to do? Here's all of my practice work. Okay, so like just kind of make this look pretty. Insert a cool picture that kind of connects the teacher saying everything that follows is going to be practice work. So what exactly do I need to have a picture of and why? where do I insert it? So I need to insert a picture here. Oh, my geo challenge. So go to your geo challenge. Okay, and then take a um, snapshot of it. Okay, here's how you do a snapshot. Watch. Okay. You see your keyboard right there? This right here is the Windows button. Do you see that? If you push Windows, Shift, and S, do you see what comes up? That is a screen capture. Okay, so I'm going to click this because I want to just choose my stuff. Let me see. I'm going to go to my geo challenge. Let's pretend this is my geo challenge and this is exactly what I want. This is my geo challenge map that I'm looking for. 
boom, now it's snapshotted. Now what I can do is just add it here by pasting it, boom. Do you see how that turns in to um, a picture of the screen? Again, how do you do that? Let me get my camera here, okay? So I'm gonna go down here to this button right at the bottom. Right next to the Alt button is something that looks like a waffle. It's called the Window button. Click Window, Shift, and S at the same time. Okay, that gives you different options. I almost always use the one that's highlighted in blue right now. Okay. All right, so I think that we just had a glitch in the video. But remember, you're gonna hit the Windows button, Shift, and S to get your um, screen capture. That's Windows, looks like a waffle, Shift, and S. I'm gonna try that, see if it comes up. There it is, see? So you're gonna take pictures or screenshots of all of your work and then insert it here, okay? Okay, so all of these tell you exactly what page number I need. So I need you to go and take a picture of them and paste it in here, okay? And make sure that picture is really, really clear, okay? I'm specific about what I need on each slide. Go do that for all of them today, okay? Again, insert your final essay here because we're getting, I want to be able to look at it in order. I want to see it at the beginning and at the end as we figure out your final grade. Do you see how I'm going to use this slideshow when you sit at this chair and talk to me about your grades? This is what I use to grade you. Okay, so go through and insert all of your things. If possible, I would really appreciate a screenshot of your multiple choice, just the first page of TCI grading, if you can figure it out. If not, we'll do it next time. What else do I, oh, do you have any challenge coupons? You should take a picture of that and explain what you did. And do you want that to count toward this grade or are you saving it? And then here's the final thing that I'm gonna look at as we finalize your grade. Okay, is there anything else I need to think about? Okay, did you do all of these things? Bottom line is this, if this whole grade is for evidence folder one includes multiple choice essay and all of your practice work and you should probably insert your pictures of your evidence folder. I didn't make a slide for that, but you can add slides just by going insert slides. See if I can figure out how to do that, but you'll figure out how to do that. So the bottom line is this, looking at all of your work, all of your multiple choice tests, all of your work on your essay. Out of 100 points, thinking about your multiple choice percentage, and we said we had a B minus, but our evidence probably demonstrates that our grade should be higher than a B minus. I'm going to guess, let's say, I think that, I'm going to write down what I think your grade is out of 100. So in the end, it's out of 100. I'm going to write it down right now. Okay, and that would include the B minus, okay? And then you tell me what you think the score is, including all of your practice, your multiple choice, and your essay. And remember, you're just taking a guess because grading is a social scientific guess. So what grade do you think you deserve? How many points out of 100 for everything so far? How many? Okay, so let's say you, just, you say 88. Let's say I say 92 when you're sitting at the chair. I would then say the truth is probably somewhere in between, kind of like Goldilocks and the three bears, not too hot, not too cold, it's just right. So if a teacher is making a social scientific guess and you're making a social scientific guess, do you see how the truth is probably closer in the middle? It's not really just the teacher. It's not just really your opinion. But if you put them together, you're closer to the real truth. This is the grade that we're going to put on power school, not your multiple choice grade. That's only one part that indicates where your learning might be. And we'll use that as our starting point, not our ending point. Most, most teachers end with the grade on the test, but that's just where we start. Okay, that's just the starting grade. Does that make sense? Okay, so you're going to fill out this whole thing. And you, it's going to take a while, but it's kind of like the fun day. Okay, before you start your work for the next time, you're just kind of saying, I'm done with this. Here's all my evidence, and I'm going to put it away. And on my next um, assignment, I'm going to start on a fresh start. Okay, wouldn't it be nice to start fresh each time and not be defined by our last grade? Oh, I'm a B plus student. No, you're not. 
you're a student and each time you get a fresh start, okay? Let the report cards average everything together, but it doesn't define who you are as a person. So what do you do with this when this is completely finished? Well, it automatically saves here. And you just want to double check to make sure that you have Birmingham Public Schools and not restricted. You should not have restricted. It should say Birmingham Public Schools. Tomorrow, we're going to take this link and upload it for your grade. Okay. So today is just about making the slideshow. Okay. Do you see if we put the time up front at the beginning of the year, everybody will understand the pattern and it will be much easier to grade for the rest of the year. But it's, it does take time. The first time takes time because we want to do it right. I want you to know how to grade yourself so we can have a grading conference and get closer to the grade instead of just your teacher guessing. Do you see what I'm saying? Grades are more than just tests. They include the totality of all your effort, including your work ethic. Do you feel me? Okay, so today, today is Wednesday. Let's get this slideshow completely finished by the time you walk into my class on Thursday. Got it? Okay, you have all hour today. Now, I can't start my grading conferences until you turn this in. So I'll start my grading conferences as soon as I get my very first slideshow. Okay, but you won't know where to turn it in until Thursday. So just do it today and you're done. Okay, tomorrow I'll show you what to do with it. Good to go? All right, that was a long one, but you might need this later in the year too. So kind of save this video or be able to go back to my YouTube channel to connect to it when you want to know how to figure out the slideshows. Okay, let's do it with slideshows. It seems to work better for grading and you can get your grade back much quicker. Okay, guys, I hope this helped and wasn't too confusing. Have a great day, everybody. Congratulations. I'm real proud of you. It's going to be a great year. Oh, I got to shut this off, guys. Sorry.